Hey guys, this video is going to be a review of The Eden Conspiracy by C.A. Gray. Also, full disclosure before I forget to say something, I am a member of this author's street team so I did receive this book for review. Still, this is entirely my opinion. It's the second book in a series. The first one was The Liberty Box and I reviewed that last year. So I loved this book. I might have actually loved it more than the first one but maybe that's just because of the length of time it's been since the first one and since this one's more immediate. I just am thinking I enjoyed it more but I really love this book. I feel like this book felt like it had such higher stakes than the first book which I feel like is something that a lot of authors try to do in a sequel but like the second book in a series typically feels like the slowest because it's like you had the conflict in the first book and you're still building it up in the second but it's not like the later books where everything just feels really high stakes. I didn't, this one didn't feel like a second book to me. Um, I mean it obviously was but it just felt like I was on the edge of my seat throughout most of it. I couldn't believe when I'd finished it because it didn't feel like it had been that long and I feel like I felt that way because of how fast paced everything felt for me. I really enjoyed the new characters we got to meet in this book even though um, there were a couple characters who were definitely in shock for the, like the entirety of the time we got to spend with them and so I can't really say like one character in particular that I like liked her because it was kind of annoying but also understandable but I really loved getting to see and I'm trying to stay vague here to avoid spoilers but I really enjoyed meeting some of the new characters and I'm excited to see what happens with them in the next book. Interesting because I feel like there's a really big mystery that you're hoping to find an answer to for the entirety of the book. You don't discover the answer in this book which is kind of expected because I mean it's the second book in a series so obviously you want to keep the mystery going into the rest of the series but then you get to the end of the book and something else happens and now you have all of these like extra questions like nothing is answered in this book but you just get more questions than you had before and I think that was really well done like how it all played out like it, it definitely drew me in um, the mystery we had from the beginning kept me like curious like what's going to happen and then to have this huge cliffhanger where I have even more questions I just I have plenty of questions that I want answered and it's definitely going to make me read the third book. So yeah, I can't wait until the third book to find out what happens next. But I think that is all that I have to say and I will see you guys later. Bye.